here probably the only one I can say that we can come out with. That's more than just a friend. Uh, we spent a lot of time together in a lot of different cities. And so I really can't put into words what it's meant to me professionally as it was personally. But I think the county will bear the fruit of a lot of his work for a long time to come because of the involvement of many things in Project.
a good file name. My name is Robert Williams. I live at 814 Stagecoach Trail in beautiful downtown Boston. I went to NC State and I thoroughly enjoyed being in the park here. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I enjoyed being in the park here too. <laughs> if you remember this, this uh, years ago in the, in the championship, ACC championship, State beat Duke in a game 12. I won't let you know, I was there and I saw it personally. It was a good game. And I can quit. Uh, like, <laughs> 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 was it? A <laughs> uh, couple things. One is on your consent agenda, uh, out of the there, there's no real place for public comment except the citizen recognition. I found out how to use the computer to get on the system to look this kind of stuff up. I noticed uh, Adam D is coast to coast, Met medicine card or whatever it is. Uh, it, it, it appears that somebody wrote a letter to the Boys and Girls Club in Cleveland County and asked permission to endorse some kind of medication card or pres prescription card. And this kind of prescription card of some sort. And, uh, Looking through that, I just wondered is that the kind of business that the county commissioner can be in is endorsing the product? Uh, the money that they would get off that thing, according to the letter from uh, the Boys and Girls Club, they expect it to cost the, the, the money to come through the county commissioners and to them. But in your paperwork, uh, your agreement with the coast to coast folks, I didn't see that happen. It looks like County Commissioner, by endorsing this product, would receive some kind of money for it. And there's a lot of products out there, so I don't know what kind of business you guys are going to be getting into the endorsing product. I don't see much relationship with that and the money in Cleveland County. Uh, just my comment on that. My comment is that last Thursday night at, at the library over here in Shirley, we had a, uh, there was a, uh, Town Hall meeting for the uh, school board candidates. The best that I can tell, that's the first time that I ever remember seeing uh, candidates, and especially incumbents, ever having to ask question, answer questions from the public directly. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe, maybe this room might be uh, a good place to hold a town hall type forum and ask you guys some questions. Anyway, that was, that was just a thought that I had. Now, if you're interested, I think Susan, you, you came for a while, maybe Thursday, that Thursday. I didn't see you. I was up front like I used to. I can't hear you good sometimes, so I said up front. So, uh, it's, it's also on the internet. Hal is posted on the internet. And uh, there was a news item on Channel 3 yesterday at uh, 6 o'clock. Chair, thank you very much. Uh, several items that I'd like to cover for the commissioners, please. Uh, the first would be our minutes. Uh, if we find include in your packet this evening the September 3rd regular meeting minutes uh, for your consideration this evening. Uh, second, uh, from the health department, uh, our health department is requesting a write off of private pay accounts receivable in the amount of $27,705.93. All of these accounts are at least three years old and they've been actively worked to seek collection. These uncollectible accounts should be written off periodically in order for the county's balance sheet to reflect what is actually collectible. So this is basically an internal county accounting function and, and procedures and blanks that we've asked for your consideration for that this evening. Third, uh, county administration is seeking your approval to adopt state recommended amendments and the record retention and disposition 
schedules for the county's public records. Uh, Cleveland County follows the same schedule as the state and as those amendments are made, we want to stay consistent with that uh, and align with our state uh, procedures. Finally, uh, the, uh, we have a request tonight from the Boys and Girls Club of Cleveland County asking Cleveland County to, to participate in the Coast to Coast uh, drug prescription card program and those proceeds uh, would be earmarked to help establish a team center in Cleveland County. Uh, these funds would come to the city, I mean, I'm sorry, would come to the county, and then those funds would be uh, passed from the county back over to the Boys Club and would be earmarked as stated. There would be no cost to Cleveland County government for adoption of this program. Thank you, Kevin. Yes, sir. Andrew, any questions about the same agenda?
while we build the leaders in this community so we continue to develop and cultivate new leaders uh, to be involved in our community and improve the quality of life in this community. And let me conclude by saying this, and this is for the benefit of our uh, Commissioner Hutchinson, who can then give me my closing remarks in the spirit of entrepreneurialism and in the spirit of our American dream. In order for us to be successful entrepreneurs, I will leave you with this. If it is to be, it is up to me. And I thought you would appreciate that, Mr. Commissioner. That concludes my remarks. This is a proclamation recognizing Minority Enterprise Development Week, October 13th to 19th, 2013. Whereas, Minority Enterprise Development Week is an annual observance that has been proclaimed by the President of the United States since 1983 to highlight the important role and contributions minority business enterprises bring to our local, national, and global economy. And whereas, this year's theme, Energizing the Economy with Minority Business Enterprises, reflects the value that makes our nation strong and economically, economically viable through a history of noteworthy contributions, past achievements, and transformative leadership within our free enterprise system. And whereas the Cleveland County Business Development Center has led the way to partner with local stakeholders to promote business and network opportunities, encourage civic participation, and support educational and leadership programs, including the Women in Business series, Youth forums, emerging leaders lecture series, and annual award celebrations to improve the overall business climate. And whereas the state of North Carolina will highlight Minority Enterprise Development Month by proclamation by the governor in support of programs across the state to encourage participation of historically underutilized businesses and promote awareness, risks, opportunities, and rewards of business ownership in North Carolina. And whereas this year's annual Med Week Award celebration in Cleveland County will bring together small business owners and community stakeholders to honor and com commemorate the accomplishments of small business owners, local citizens, and community partners who give their time, expertise, and humanitarian efforts to make a difference in our community and beyond. Now, therefore, the Cleveland County Board of Commissioners do hereby proclaim October 13th to 19th 2013 as Minority Enterprise Development Week in Cleveland County in recognition of the cooperative efforts of the above sponsoring organizations and individuals to enhance, promote, and support the success of minority-owned businesses and other community partners adopted this the first day of October 2013 by the Cleveland County Board of Commissioners.
grade shall be made to the company within 15 days of commencement of grading at the project site. If the company does not begin operation of the project within 24 months of the date of the agreement, then the company shall be paid the $50,000 to the county within 15 days of the expiration of the 24 months. Incentive two, in order to receive the next incentive, the company must begin construction of the project within 12 months of the execution of this agreement. The incentive grant that will be awarded will be for seven years and will be an annual amount equal to 65% of the county applicable loan taxes. If the company at any time fails to pay all applicable property taxes, does not comply or adhere to what is stated within this agreement, they are fully aware that the county does have the authority to terminate this agreement. Thank you so much for your consideration, Ms. Freeman. Any questions? I think I'm on the job 100%.
cotton meal and cotton industry. Uh, you were you were the only way to get ahead was to leave Cleveland County. And and Fox said, I left Cleveland County for for about good, good many years. But I think I think what the mix of companies we need to have is sure we're gonna have to have low paying jobs. Cotton meal jobs were low paying. But when fiber and PPG came in, came in with higher paying jobs and more opportunity for people that didn't have anywhere to go except somewhere else, they, they would tend to gravitate to that level. And then the folks that didn't have jobs could gravitate to those jobs. And you had, you had more of a stable uh, uh, economy to leave the Of course, in the last few years, we've had kind of the upset of all of that. And I'm told that I think this is, this is a step in the right direction.
absolutely willing, they make it their mission to streamline the process, to streamline permitting, to make sure that we are responsive to our clients, that we provide the most wonderful customer service that they're ever going to find when they set foot here. They're also looking at the overall cost of doing business. Cost of doing business ranks much higher than the incentives package. They want to know that the tax rates are attractive. They want to know that after those financial incentives go away, that this is going to be an affordable place to do business. So that is, that is huge. They're also looking at the land and building supply that we have here, which again, you know, we just have to thank our commissioners and our local government for working to develop product. If, if we didn't have the product, we wouldn't be bringing in these companies. Without real estate, they wouldn't be here. So um, I want to thank you guys for your vision and leadership um, in working towards developing shovel ready, shovel ready sites, investing in infrastructure and developing product. We also have great transportation infrastructure here. That is really one of the, the key factors in a lot of their decisions when they're looking to locate. We have great accessibility with Interstate 85 going into the Charlotte Douglas International Airport, which is one of the biggest economic drivers in the Southeast. That certainly is playing into our favor. They're, they're certainly factoring in that. And then we have great access to higher education resources. And that's when we look at our, our financial incentives package that we put together. We have Garden Grove University here locally who decided they wanted to be a partner in economic development, and they are actually contributing to our economic development efforts by offering tuition credits to new and expanding industries. So that collaboration is, is it's really hard to find. So um, when you look at the overall the overall package, we have many players, even the utility partners get involved. They're offering discounts and utilities for, for four to five years. They're offering cash incentive grants. When a company is looking to locate um, and, and build a new facility, grading costs are very, very expensive. Site development costs are very, very expensive. They are trying to improve that financial outlook for the first two to five years if they can. And those, those incentives really help to offset those costs. So um, I could talk all day about that. Uh, but I just uh, I appreciate and commend you, you all for um, being so flexible and so supportive of our economic development efforts. It really um, it, it, it's being recognized across the country. That's why we're generating the leads that we are. That's why these companies are really doing well. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
join me in helping the NCAC speak up to their teams from all 100 counties. Our organization is only as strong as our members, and we need every county to be engaged. There are many ways you can be involved to our organization. Thanks, President Jones. The NCACC has been advocating for counties for more than 100 years. And along the way, we have found that the best advocates for county government are you, our local elected officials. That's why we'd like to make it easy for you to help us achieve your goals as the General Assembly. Legislative Council Sam Skinner is going to tell you about how you can become involved. One of the best ways county commissioners to get involved serve on one of our seven steering committees. The steering committees provide guidance and recommendations to the board of directors seven policy areas. They're agriculture, environment, general government, health and human services, justice and public safety, public education, and tax and finance. The committees meet quarterly and will consider information on emerging county related issues. Each steering committee will be meeting in October, and I hope you will consider serving on our committee. You can sign up for a steering committee on our website. The association does a lot more than advocate for county interest. Another part of our mission is to provide education and training for county commissioners and county staff. Associate Director of Education Jason Keene is going to tell you more about an exciting opportunity we have coming up in October. On October 15th, the NCACC will sponsor a seminar on the implementation of the Affordable Care Act and its impacts on county government. This day-long seminar is free and will be held at the Sheriff's and Hotel in Orange County. We will bring policy experts from the National Association of Counties and other organizations to discuss with county officials the steps that counties need to be considering to make sure they're ready for this change. Elected officials can learn about the policy implications and staff can learn about the details of implementing the Affordable Care Act. Counties will be impacted by the ACA in numerous ways, as employers, as the providers of public health services, and as administrators of the state's Medicaid program. This seminar will help counties understand the issues that could come up as the ACA becomes law. I hope to see you in Orange County on October 15th. For more information about this seminar, please visit our website at the address on your screen. Thanks, Jason. Another way that we provide services to counties is through our risk management pools. You might not know that the NCACC is the number one provider of insurance for workers' compensation and liability and property for North Carolina's county governments. Andy Mason, our general counsel, is here to explain. The risk management pools were created to help counties and county entities better manage the costs associated with liability and property insurance and workers' compensation insurance. Our programs are specifically tailored to meet the unique needs of county governments. We also provide an extensive risk control service to help members reduce their costs by identifying and eliminating potential risks. If you would like to learn more about our pools, Please visit the NCACC website and click on the Risk Management tab. As you can see, the NCACC does a lot for our county. I hope you will join me this year as we seek to make the NCACC an even more valuable partner for all of us.
saying is this would be instead of the George Parkway, if they had rather have the line of 85 that was up to Bosnac going into the airport, and then instead of having it. So, other than that, uh, yes, it's supposed to be on the uh, animal. On the animal, we've got something planned this, this week on it. Thank you. 